Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on the channel. This is a request that I think has been on my list since I started making things out of duct tape. It's pretty much just been on there forever and I really just didn't get around to doing it until now so I really wanted to crank out a video and get this really ancient request out of the way here. So in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a photo frame for a regular picture as well as kind of a photo frame that flips out two different ways, kind of like a trifold wall it does. So first thing we're going to work on is making one for a normal picture that's 4 by 6 inches, you know, 4 inches high and six inches long. It's pretty much the standard size for a normal uh, photo that you would nor like normally print out and stuff like that. So let's get started here on this tutorial. And for this tutorial, I am going to be using a little bit of the clear plastic at the end here, so I'll show you how to use that eventually. So if you have a clear plastic or clear uh, tape, you know, like HD clear tape, you can use that as your plastic. So let's get started here on the first step. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out, cut out several strips of tape that are seven inches long each. Now remember our normal photo uh, frame size here, our normal photo size is four by six inches, so seven inches is obviously an inch longer than the bottom. And we're going to be leaving about half inch of room on each side. So that's what we're, what we're going to be going for. So applying our first two strips together just like this. Obviously I'm using the pink zebra tape right here. Which is a pretty colorful tape for this. Hopefully it will come out looking really nice. So we got our, our third strip. We're just going to overlap it by about a quarter of an inch or so. And then we're going to take our fourth strip and then just kind of overlap it a little bit and cover up the rest of the sticky side there. Next I'm going to do is you're actually going to need six strips total, so that's why I have six here. I'm going to line up the top of it on my cutting mat here, and we're actually going to apply this last strip so that it's a total height of five inches. So let me count here, one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be right about here. And you're going to stick your strip down just like that. Or you, can, you, know, you could use a ruler if you have something like that. If you don't have your cutting mat, a ruler will work just fine. So take your last, your sixth strip, and just apply it on the bottom here, covering up the rest of the sticky side. You can tell it's summer because the, the ends are kind of peeling up a little bit. It's kind of humid out. But anyway, so we have our strip that is uh, it's seven inches long on the bottom and five inches high on the top. And you'll notice that our picture, or at least our paper picture here, fits perfectly inside that, that sheet here with about half inch on every single side. So that's exactly what we want. So do that step now. So the next step, I cut out my clear plastic here, and you can kind of see it there on the camera. It's a little hard to see because it's pretty much totally clear, but you can kind of see it with the reflection. But it is pretty much exactly the same size as my, my paper picture here. It's six inches long on the bottom, so we can just match that up just like this. But it also raises about a half inch higher on the top here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to line this up just on top of this sheet here, just like we did with the picture. So if I'll show you exactly where it's going to end up because it's going to blend right in with the pink zebra here. So the plastic ends up right below this piece right here, this paper sheet, but it, on the top here, I don't know if you can see it, but it comes all the way to the top here. You can kind of see it with the reflection. So that's what kind of exactly what you want. We're pretty much making a giant ID slot here. So if you're used to making those in your wallets, that's pretty much what we're doing here. So now we're going to take some strips and we're going to connect this right onto the sheet of tape here. All right, so now let's attach this plastic piece to our photo frame here. So I have it lined up on the, on the top here. That's lined up with the lip of the tape in the back. And then obviously it comes up about a half inch so or so right here on the bottom, which is exactly what we want. So I cut out a strip of tape that was six inches long. I actually cut it into two pieces just, you know, save a little bit on tape here. And you're going to overlap just the tiniest little bit probably you know just a little less than a quarter of an inch obviously this is going to be covering up your photo a little bit so you definitely want to cover it up as, as less as possible we're going to save that piece for later so i'll show you that in just a second but we're going to tilt it to the side here so now we have that piece stuck on the bottom here you can see there next thing i did was cut out two strips of tape that are four and a half inches long and that's going to cover from the bottom here all the way to the top. Because remember the, this, uh, this paper here was four inches but we made it, made it four and a half to go all the way to the top here. Because we're up, we're up half an inch on the bottom. So let's stick this on here just like this. Remember we'll go overlap just about a quarter of an inch or so on the plastic and then onto your photo frame. So that seals up that part over there. So we got that part all sealed up. Flip it all the way over. And I have one more strip that's four and a half inches long. Overlap quarter of an inch again. 
and just stick it down just like this. So now what we're going to do with this last strip here, which should be, let's see here, I'm going to measure it once again just to see how long it is. should be six inches long. And we're going to stick this directly on top of the ID, uh, the, uh, the ID slot, yeah, the photo frame here. So you pretty much have it stuck there on the top. And you can make that any length you want. If you want it to go a little bit farther down your photo frame, you just cut it longer. If you want it to be a little bit shorter, just trim that, that uh, one strip to whatever size you want it. So now we have our photo here, or our mock photo, which we can slide right in there. Paper's going to be a little hard to get in there, but let's see if we can just manage. Just slide it all the way in there. A photo would be have a little more heft to it, so it would probably go in a little bit better. But there we have our photo frame. So now I'm going to show you how to put a little bit of a, of a kind of a stand on the back, and you can kind of just sit it up like on your mantle or something like that. Okay, so to make a really simple stand for, we're just going to cut out two strips of tape that are, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six inches long should do it. And basically, you're going to take out, uh, you're going to go two of those strips, you know, just stick them together just like this. We'll take these two tiny little strips, apply a little bit of a sticky side on the end there, just like that, as well as another little piece over here. And we're pretty much just going to make kind of like a leg stand for on the back here. So we're just going to flip it over like this and kind of apply this part to the bottom here and just make sure that you know it doesn't cover up on your ID or your um, your photo frame at all. Then you can kind of fold it like right about there. So make sure that's good and folded right there. And then we're just gonna lean this back and we're going to stick it on the back just like this. And then it should stand up fairly well. If you know if it starts to tilt or anything like that, you can kind of just apply a few little pieces of tape down here to kind of stiffen that up a little bit. That'll make sure that it stays nice and firm and it won't, you know, collapse on you. So yeah, there you have your, your photo frame and your single photo frame. So now I'm going to teach you how to make one that's a few different segments to it, kind of like a trifold wallet, and you can store a couple of different frames in it, and it'll store it'll kind of sit up all by itself, which is really cool. So let's work on that next. So I just showed you how to make the regular photo frame. So now we're going to make a photo album that's more or less like a trifold wallet and you can actually stand up by itself without having you know, to put a little stand on the back. A normal uh, wallet size photo is around three and a half inches long and two and a half inches high. So we're going to make a three part photo album that's going to be more or less like for, you know, situated for photos that are about that size. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut out four strips of tape here that are four and a half inches long. We're going to take our first two, stick them together just like this. So we got our first two right on top. Obviously I'm using the paint splatter tape for this here. And we're going to apply our third strip so that it comes to about a total height of three inches. So I'm going to line that up with that line right there. And then this will be the three inch mark right here. So I'm going to line it up right there for three inches. So that's our third strip, so we're going to flip the whole thing over and work on our fourth one right here. So we're going to stick that and cover up the rest of the sticky side. Now remember, this is going to be like a trifold wallet, or it's going to look more or less like a trifold wallet. So we're actually going to make two more of these. So duplicate this step two more times, and then we'll move on to putting the plastic on. So do make two more of these right now. All right, so now let's work on the plastic. So I have my plastic piece here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that right there. This is cut out to be the exact dimensions of a photo which you would put in your wallet, a wallet size photo, which is two and a half inches high, three and a half inches long here. So basically what we're going to do, so we're going to take two strips of tape that are three and a half inches long. And we're obviously going to be connecting it onto just like this. So we're going to scoot those two over for now. Turn, turn it just like this and line it up directly on top of there. I'm just going to overlap by about a quarter of an inch or so on that plastic sheet. Just sealing it up on the one side right here. You might have to fold it back around the back just a little bit. So that got, gets that one side sealed down over there. Take your other little three and a half inch strip and do the exact same thing on this side. Remember, you don't want to cut too much onto that plastic sheet just because you know that's going to cut into a little bit of your photo. But you have like a, if you have like a well cropped photo, if pretty much all your you know what you're trying to see is in the middle of the photo, you probably won't have too much trouble, you know, with the the, the tape on the sides blocking whatever you're putting in there. So now we're going to work on the bottom. For the bottom, we have two and a half inches high. So basically, we're just going to cut out two little strips that are two and a half inches, and then just simply stick those right on the bottom, one right here. 
And then this one on the top will not seal the plastic in, but just go right over the top of it, much like we did on our other one, and much like the way that an ID holder is set up. So there we have our ID holder. So now we have, let me see if I can just use my Burger King card here to show you that there is an ID holder in there. So that's pretty much what it'll look like. You know, you have like a wallet size photo, you just slide it in right there. And basically what you're gonna do now is you're going to repeat that step for these other two over here. And once you do that, then we'll be able to connect them all together and make our photo album. So we'll just repeat this step of putting that clear plastic on over here, over to these two, and then we'll move on to our next step. So once you've gotten your clear plastic on the other two, basically what we're gonna do is just gonna take one strip of tape that's four and a half inches long, which is the height of, of our thing here, our, our pieces. And we're just going to connect them probably the way that they're going to bend the most naturally. So let's flip these both over. These are both facing down now, so it should be perfectly all right. We're just gonna take this one strip and connect them right here on the back just like that. And let's connect this one on the back as well, just like this. And I'll show you how this is going to fold in just a minute here. So stick that right down right there. You know, if it's a little bit of a sticky side, it will show, but that's okay for that side. If you have ever stick out a little bit here, a little bit just sticks out on you, you just want to trim that right off because if that's the part that it's sitting on, like on the ground, it's probably going to be a little uneven and it might not stand up very well. So basically, you know, you can fold it a little bit just to get those creases used to staying closed. But you're not actually gonna close them all the way. And then you pretty much stand it up like that and you have your photo album. You can also stand it kind of up like a Z pattern here like this. And you can kind of just arrange a bunch of different ways, you know, like on your mantle or like on your, your dresser or something along those lines, you can just stick it up like this. So that's a pretty cool way of making a, kind of like a tri-fold photo album. So that pretty much concludes this tutorial on how to make a duct tape photo frame as well as a photo album here like a trifold wallet. Now you can uh, manipulate your trifold wallet frame here more or less uh, going the other way as well. You don't have to have like all up and down like this. You can actually turn these like this and then connect them all just to give like, your photos a little bit of a different slant. And you can also mix and match it too. You have, you have like one going this way, one up and down. Then you have another one going lengthwise this way and then another one going up and down again. It'll still be able to fold fairly well and it'll still be able to stand up because of the way you're arranging those different pieces and sticking them together. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. There will be another video coming tonight announcing the first winner of the Twitter giveaway. So look forward to that. And there'll be more videos coming this week and onto the channel. So take care, subscribe if you want to, and check out the Facebook fan page and the Twitter account. Catch you next time, guys.